okay in this video I'm going to talk about the replication and we are going to talk about a replication and we will see a demo of the snapshot replication okay here is replication basically there are you can replicate by server to server replication or server to client in the server to client you will be usually using it when you are replicating it to the replicating and the laptop user can is also replicating usually server to client can be used mostly the situation is found in the merge replication anyway we will do now we will take it one step by step and we will move it to the basically the types of replication if you see there are three types of replication the snapshot replication merge replication and the transaction replication sorry i have not mentioned it here i have said replication it has to be transaction replication and then there is a subtype that's known as peer to peer replication and basically if you go and look at the swap replication there are three three types of things involved it the man is called as a publisher the other is called a distributor the other the third one is subscriber the replication is basically based upon this very similar concept like your pers publisher who publishes a magazine a distributor is a distributor who actually distributes a magazine a subscriber is a person who buys the magazine basically now there are two ways the, the subscription work one is a push and the other one is a pull just like the publisher is actually pushing the maxon or the something to the subscriber or to the distributor and then distributor selling to the again pushing it to the subscriber or there is another way the subscriber is buying it from the publisher when the subscriber is actually making the decision in buying it's known as a pull while the when the publisher pushes the data to the subscriber when the publisher is actually moving the data to the is known as push okay so push or pull okay that's the only definition that's the uh, that's the only only thing that is you need to know about the data let's move to the next now let's see the publisher is the source of, of the database that has the publication of set of the articles now what is the articles articles are the contents of the database like tables views stored procedure that's what known as in the replication terminology are known as repli articles articles are what need to be replicated to the subscriber now again i told you there is a push and pull okay in the push the agent connects to the distribution agent and pulls the data marked for replication in a push agents connect to the data and push the data marked for replication so that's the only difference one is push and the other one is pull usually mostly people would be using mostly the push however it again depends upon the what you want to do and other things our distributor required role there is a publisher there is a replication agent and there is a subscriber okay and the article consists of the objects in the database and articles you know what are the articles i have already explained it to you the subscription the subscriber can use a push or pull again again it is very simple you can subscribe you can actually send uh, one article or you can send uh, multiple articles or you can send the whole database that's it. you can replicate a single article or a multiple article or a whole database that uh, the distribution keeps the tracks the distributor keeps the tracks of the subscription and is the hub of the activity between distributor is somewhat like a monitor monitoring okay so you can have the distributor and a publisher on the same server or the same instance as we are not going to have look at it in a different instance maybe we will look at the uh, not on a, sorry on the not on a different server we will looking on the same server on two different instance in one instance the publisher will be the subscriber publisher would the publisher would be also be a distributor and on the second instance we have will have a subscriber okay now our application will configure various sql server agents and jobs and create triggers on the publisher to capture the changes occurring in the trigger trigger may affect your overall performance of the server basically whenever you are crea creating a replication whenever you are trying to select the articles 
the moment the replication is created the sql server will create a lot of triggers for it to implement the replication which will definitely slow down your what do you call the server and it can create a lot of overheads however if you want to actually do a high availability of the whole entire database is better to use log shipping or database mirroring however if you want to publish a small amount of data the replication is a good choice because only you want to replicate only few tables or few something views and other stored procedure then it's a replication is a great idea but replicating the entire database is not a very good idea but and it also depends upon the bandwidth however there is nothing stopping you to replicate the whole database however it will create a lot of triggers and the triggers will get executed every now and then and it will slow down your process of the server and it will create a lot of overheads that's it nothing else then let's go to the see the publisher this is a replication snapshot replication process we have to create one folder that's for the snapshot and that has to be shared and then the publisher will create a snapshot first and then the snapshot goes to the snapshot folder and then it gets applied to the subscriber that's so simple in the snapshot okay the agents is involved that's it and there are different types of agents snapshot agent distribution agent log reader agent merge agent queue agent depend depending upon the replication we will look into the agents and other things now snapshot agent replication is completely refreshes the data so now what it means is that every time you create even if so all changes the of the snapshot it will get zoomed completely written over it to the other side and do not expect it that it is not going it will whether you make a hundred changes on a database or a single small change the snapshot snapshot replication writes the whole thing down to the other side so you better be careful so it will create a lot of overheads the snapshot is the best way to create the best way where the data is very less frequently changed that are like maybe the catalogs that you want to keep on maintaining and you change it once in six months is that is that that's the good thing where you can use the snapshot replication that's it and nothing nothing special about it use wisely and do not actually try to use a replication of the whole database every now and then do not actually try to use a snapshot replication every now and then create a lot of overheads that's it and then we will move it to the as as you can see snapshot replication can be replicated to more than one location however we are going to reuse it only for one location but it can be done and that's the basic fundamental of the re snapshot replication and replication giving a brief idea and now let's look at the really what we can do with the snapshot replication now let's say let's say i have two instances of the sql server installed here and i am going to use the pubs database to be doing the replication and we will see whether it can be achieved and it little it's little bit let's and basically when you are going to be you're going to use the main this server as you can see how we can we can disconnect it if we want and we will connect it again if we want to so that we are able to connect it to the database engine and this is our first server you can see the agent is running so far databases are there we are going to actually replicate the pubs database pubs 2000 tables are there okay can we see the tables okay so far so good okay we need to see that these things are deleted otherwise this was done okay and now we have to another instance i will connect it to the 11 11 okay now this is also sql server agent is running any database here so let's see there no database so far so good now this is the database we wants to get actually replicated and it is snapshot replication before we go into the details we will actually before we go into the pub publication we will actually start we need to configure a replicate distribution of the database so we will go to the first instance that is the main instance from where the data is getting is going to get transferred to the other other server or the other instance and we will configure the distribution so we will configure the distribution and right click on the replicant configure again if you want again i will show it to you right click on the 
configure distribution and the wizard starts because I am going to have the use the same database for the distribution as well as the publication so I will select the first option and I will go to the next here I have a snapshot folder because be very careful if you do not correct provide the correctly provide the folder name the snapshot will not allow you easily to change it in this case I will use I made a mistake once by creating this folder so this is what I am going to do ok this is so simple so this is what actually is the I have a snapshot folder and I have created it and it's shared that's what it's going to have it that's ok let's move to the next this is I will leave it as it is because this is distribution and this is done create distribution you can if you want you can generate the script and then modify it and then execute it but right now I am not going to do it I am just going to leave it to the configure distribution I am going to move next and this is finished and we have configured the as you can see it's getting configured and we have configured so far successful great that's ok so now now that we have configured the distribution now we can configure the publication so on the we go to the local publication and select new publication select new and this time we are going to select the pips database and select new now snapshot replication then we have snapshot and publication snapshot publication with updatable subscription updatable subscription means it can get actually updated add a subscriber then there is a march publication also now we are going to select the snapshot because we are dealing with snapshot replication so snapshot publication now we these are the articles what type of you want to select you can select it from all these things this is remember that every table needs to have a primary key in the replication so you have better be prepared with that thing ok I am going to select all the tables whatever can be selected if it is they, they don't, do not have a primary key it will be showing a red color and you cannot select it ok and then we move to the next here is what you can do you can add the where clause and it still filter data from either each table depending upon what you want that's it and if you want to only replicate only a part of the database part of the table only I do not want to I just actually well, I'm going to sh show it the whole thing and create a snapshot and create a schedule okay in the, if we want to do it once in a month every once in a month we can say monthly every month okay at maybe on the first occurs at maybe at six o'clock in the evening and that's it we click ok and then we move into the next in this way you can have to put the domain name in the account if you want you need to have a password so in my case I do not have a password because I am not using the password I am going to use run it under this is not recommended in the security best practice agreed with it you have to have a domain account but in this case because we are using a demo otherwise it is just your user account and a password that's it on the server or even of the windows 7 because it is the same thing but now this is here we are going to use uh, this is next and this is a create a publication generate the script and I am not going to generate the script anyway I am just going to create a publication and I am going to name the publication pups, replic pups publication and I am going to leave it and to click the finish you can name whatever you feel like and let's hope so it works correctly and it's getting published good so far now I have the publication and this thing now I need to create I go to the second instance to create the replication or the second server you can go and go to the replication now we have need to create a subscription so I could go right click and click new subscription click next and this time I need to find out from what server I need to create I need to get the publisher so I need to find the publisher so publisher is my VC so it should be connect and I have pub publication right now what that has created next I need to there is a push and pull I agreed, already told you this option is much easier to administer so I am going to go to go for this thing next now here it is the subscription database so I do not have any subscription database as you can see so I can I can select new and in a new I can say pubs you can give name it uh, whatever you feel like I will make it replication so it is just easier for 
us to remember and see the data. Now this will only create a database in the second instance, nothing else. The real process starts up from the distributor and the publisher. Here again, does it is if you want, you can use the domain name, but I am going to use again the SQL Server agent name, and I'll click OK, and again next. In this schedule, agent schedule, I can I can select many things, but I will say on run on demand, not run continuously, and next. And in this thing, it says initial subscription. I will say at first synchronize, next. It depends upon if you do not want to synchronize, put the synchronize, and what is the other immediately. If you want, you can put it immediately also. It depends what you want to do. I will select subscription synchronize and this is again this is create a subscription and generate the report next. And this is what it is and I am going to click finish. This being done, now I think so this is done and I can close it. Now if you if I go to the database and see the snapshot oh sorry the data refresh it and I will be able to see the but this there won't be any tables as you can see it's empty just the system tables the database has been created by the process but there's no table let's go and move to the publications as you can see we can see there are a lot of tables really there are and we want to see this table getting replicated let's move to the publication and let's start let's say now there is one more thing we can do uh, before we can see we can actually see the replication monitor you can see that the replication monitor it is started agent is there completed start synchronizing and you can see publication pubs publication what is our this thing of publication and let's see whether it has been able to do it yes as you can see we have got our data published it has been quite fast as you can see and that is all about a snapshot replication you can see the replication monitor and see it for monitoring the replication snapshot replication has been monitored you can see you you can click on the PC there's your instance and see the agent running and a subscription watch list and publications and that's it that's it all about snapshot replication thank you very much for watching bye bye have a nice day